Good morning, Stratford. I'm Jean Hightower. And I'm Caroline Crick. Today is Wednesday, September 28th. It's a sea day. Today is White Lie Wednesday. What's your role, White Lie, Caroline? Mr. Griss, what number of fish are you on now? Where's Bo? Happy birthday to senior Max Strickland and sophomores Anna Catherine Katz and Eden Frank. Today's menu in the Prentice Robinson Cafeteria is chicken tenders, steamed corn, creamy mac and cheese, bread and mozzarella cheese sticks, and marinara sauce. Here's today's weather forecast. And speaking of weather, Athletic Director Barry Beal has an announcement about the impact of Hurricane Ian on this week's homecoming game against Deerfield being moved from Friday night to Thursday night at 6.30. Hey guys, I'm Hanson Yarbo uh, here with our Athletic Director, Barry Veal. Uh, Barry Veal, what is um, the new information you got for us uh, evolving homecoming and um, Hurricane Ian this week? Okay, we just finalized everything. Uh, and everything is being shot out right now on social media. Y'all are actually the first to know. Um, the football game is going to be played Thursday night at 6.30 here at Stratford. Um, the homecoming has been postponed. And we're going, after conferring with the uh, homecoming court, we're going to do that and we're going to present them uh, at halftime on the, October the 14th, which is our next home game in two weeks against uh, John Millage Academy. Mm -hmm. um, moving the game to Thursday uh, forced us to uh, move the middle school and JV football game to Wednesday night. So we're going to start that at 4.30 Wednesday and that will be followed by Powder Puff at 7 o'clock. So Powder Puff does not change. Um, Thursday varsity uh, volleyball has senior night. And so they're going to continue on with that at six o'clock, um, and that we're going to move up vo uh, softball. They host FPD on Thursday, and we're going to still play on Thursday, but we're going to move the time up. We're going to start a JV game at three o'clock, and then the varsity game will start at four fifteen uh, to try and get as much done and, and some traffic alleviation done before the football game on Thursday night. Um, Another big thing is our Hall of Fame induction ceremony on Friday morning. We're moving ahead with that as planned. And, um, you know, if weather got really, really bad, um, um, myself and, the head, and Ms. Ferrari and, and Mr. Bowles would meet. And uh, the only way we will not have that right now is if school were to be canceled on Friday. And I'm not saying school is going to be canceled, but I'm just saying uh, that would be a possibility. Uh, the dance is still on. Yes, sir. Uh, everything's moving. You know, that has not changed at all. Uh, it's just been a really, really uh, busy time, something that, um, you know, you have to adapt to. And, and I want to thank our, our uh, athletes and students for the way that they are adapting because everybody's been great. And, uh, you know, it's just something that we're going to have to deal with. Six Stratford students were recognized in Monday's assembly for their outstanding performance on the PSAT. Congratulations to Peter Garud, Cannon Henson, Ishan Narshanhani, Gita Pavalori, and Shreya Renabotu, who were named National Merit Commended Scholars. Congratulations to Sophia Tang, who was named a National Merit Semifinalist. Here are some sights and sounds from Tuesday's Ships and Sailors during Break in the Grady. With the Declaration of Independence. Let's get it, let's get it, peace. Oh my God. A college representative from LSU will be in the boardroom today at break. Mr. O'Hara has the results of Time Travel Tuesday. Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. O'Hara with today's Homecoming Week competition update. First, congratulations to our three winners in Ships and Sailors, juniors Zane Harley and Jack Harrington and sophomore Emma Jordan. Each earned five points for their classes. There was a tie for the Time Travel Tuesday costume contest. Congratulations to senior Eleanor Fenimore and junior Cam Douthit. Both earned 10 points for their class. There was a three-way tie for second place between sophomore Emmy McElrath, junior Ryan Bray, 
and junior Nathan Haskell. Each earned five points. Also, congratulations to yesterday's faculty winner, Mrs. Michelle Fleming. She earns five points for the juniors. Finally, Ryan Bray won the tag competition with 16 tags, earning 10 points for, you guessed it, the juniors. But freshman Henry Tarbutton got the first points for his class, earning five for his second place finish. While freshman Ben Kelly and junior Billy Noblet tied for third, earning three points for their grades. Senior girls added another four points at the end of the day with their tags, while the juniors earned two points, and Nina Grace Robinson came through for the sophomores with one additional point. After two days, here are the standings. The juniors have opened up a big lead with 65 points. The seniors are narrowly holding on to second place with 24 points, just ahead of the sophomores' 21 points. And the freshmen are on the board and looking to make a move with 8 points. Miss Ferrari has an announcement about the PSAT prep classes. Good morning, Eagles. I trust that all of you have read the email that I sent out to you on Monday regarding some PSAT prep classes that we are offering this week and next. So beginning today, we are offering two classes per day and they will run through Thursday, October 6th. The morning class is from 7.15 to 8.15 and the afternoon class is from 3.45 to 4.45. We will be alternating English and math classes. The English classes will be led by Dr. Katz or Mrs. Fleming and those sessions will be held in their rooms. The math classes will be held by either Mr. Stecker or Mr. Howe and the classes will be held in their rooms. The email that I sent contained a link for you to sign up, but you can also find QR codes posted around the school and sign up using that. We encourage you to sign up for several sessions because it's hard to improve from just um, by taking just one class. So again, again, this is a great opportunity and it's for free. Can't do better than that. Have a nice day. The deadline to submit community service hours earned prior to the first day of school is Monday, October 3rd. Summer hours not submitted by October 3rd will not be accepted. Here are today's additional announcements. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful day, day, Eagles! Have, Have a, a groovy day, day Eagles! Eagles.